Warning, the following program contains scenes of graphic stupidity between a man and some games. Don't take anything and say too serious, I'm just messing around. This video should not be viewed by anyone. How's it going everybody? Today we are back in Scum and we are going to take a look at the latest development update. Or better said, we are going to take a look at a community post that the devs have released a few days ago about the state of the game. So we are going to have a bit of a podcast today, we're not gonna have any sort of action and to be honest after the last fight that we had a few days ago where I missed most of my shots, this is a welcomed change of pace. So let's get into it and see what the devs have said. Alright so this is the community address that the devs have released not too long ago and it says here that we understand and we get it. You feel like you are not being heard in some cases and it is true that the communication about some things from our side was a bit lacking. We want to rectify this and this is the first step. And first of all they are addressing the issues with the Zambi hordes and it says here that yes we know that they are not working as intended right now and we spent our time investigating and looking into it. The system is complex and relatively new and issues were expected but not to this extent. Our primary focus right now is to resolve the issues inside bunkers and other high threat zones. We agree that spawning is ridiculous and no one wants puppets to spawn right on top of them. I am happy to say that we looked into it and this will be resolved in the next update. The encounter manager is here to stay but not the issues with it. Reasons why are vast and vary as every single player is? What? Oh, they mean that the reasons are complex just as the players are complex. I get what you meant to say right here. I get it. I got it. I got it. Took me a second, but I got it. There are complex reasons why the encounter manager is here to stay and why it's a bit broken right now. But from an optimization standpoint, future features and NPCs will all fit in the end. So we will keep working on it and improving it until it is right and satisfactory for everybody. We are also working on better ways to deal with encounters, the first step being improving the roles of silencers and suppressors, making firearms viable as well. More of that in the next update as well. So from this first statement we can say with certainty that the Zambi hordes will be fixed up in the upcoming update or this encounter manager will be fixed up or adjusted so that the Zambies don't spawn right on top of us anymore or really close to us and also suppressors are going to be improved so that they don't trigger the hordes anymore. I feel like right now it doesn't really matter if we are suppressed or not. I've shot a suppressed weapon in high threat zones and it's basically a 50-50 chance that the horse will spawn. And the same goes for an unsuppressed weapon. Sometimes they spawn, sometimes they don't. I guess it just depends on our RNG luck. Alright, up next they are addressing the vehicles and it says here we know it's been a long time since you've seen a good chunk of them still. A good chunk of the vehicles, I'm guessing the tractors, some of the bikes, the boats. Uh, those of you catching up on this can already guess but I'm here uh, to confirm it. We will begin implementing all the missing vehicles in waves starting with the ones missing from your hearts the most. Hint, they are coming back. So I'm guessing next up we're gonna have that chopper bike or maybe, you know, I'm kind of hoping to see the Hellriders motorbike, you know, the dirt bike, the Hellriders dirt bike. I'm hoping to see that first if I'm gonna be honest. I had that thing one time and I crashed it into a damn rock and it blew up. And it took me down with it as well. <laughs> oh man, good times. I've also seen a clip of the tractor not too long ago, so that's gonna be coming back. Hopefully boats are gonna come back as well. We could craft some boats in the past, so maybe that's gonna be implemented back into the game, because uh, that was pretty cool when they first came to the game. Alright, and the last thing that they are addressing here is the anti-cheat. It basically says that they are working on better ways to prevent cheating. It says that we already have active admins and developers online and they are working on more ways to combat cheating. There's going to be this auto-reporting feature and then they're going to have some new anti-cheat methods. Unfortunately, that is all I can say about it right now since the more information I give away, the more info those pesky cheat makers will have on what to do. And finally says all of this and a bunch more bug fixes will be in the next update. We hear you and we are here. Hope you all like the new format with more to come and stay tuned. So basically we can expect the next update to focus mainly on fixing up the zombie hordes and improving the suppressors and resolving some of the major issues that have been reported. But there you have it. That is about it from me today. Thank you so much for listening to the podcast and I will see you in the next one with some more video games.